In this presentation, we will go through the process or the steps for the creation of a departmental income statement. First, we'll list the steps and then we'll go into some more detail about them. So this is going to be the departmental income statement steps. Number one, accumulate revenue and direct expenses by department. This should be a fairly straightforward process. If we're talking about a department that generates revenue, we should be able to apply that revenue directly to the departments. That's how we track the revenue. Should not be a problem there. The direct expenses similarly are items that we can apply directly to the department as well. So this should be a fairly straightforward process. Then we're gonna allocate indirect expenses to departments. This is gonna be the more complex process. We're gonna to have to find those expenses that are gonna be allocated or that are benefiting multiple departments. We're gonna use some type of allocation method to allocate them between those multiple departments. And then we're gonna take and allocate the service department expenses to operating departments. Remember that the service departments are not generating revenue. So ultimately we want to take the total costs of the service departments and apply them out to the operating departments, those that are generating revenue. So to do that, we're going to allocate the indirect costs that are applicable to those service departments, those required departments that are required, but aren't generating revenue once we have done that once we've applied all costs to the service departments we know what their total cost should be we're going to take those total costs and we are then going to apply them out to the operating departments the departments that are generating revenue then we'll prepare the departmental income statement let's look at this in a bit more detail so we have step one accumulate revenue and direct expenses by department so we're going to have the revenue and direct expenses we're going to apply them out directly to the department so in our example we're going to say that we have two operating departments departments that generate revenue and and have costs so department one department two again it should be easy for us to allocate the revenue and expenses because we're tracking revenue by department and the expenses can be applied directly to each of the departments there will be some departments that do not have revenue but only expenses so if we're talking about service departments then they don't have any revenue they're going to be a necessary process their job is to manage the expenses in order to achieve their job so we've got the direct expenses again it should be easy for us to allocate the direct expenses directly to each of these departments they're not something that are benefiting multiple departments they are something that are going to be applied directly to these departments now once we have finished these service departments and allocated all costs to them we will take those total costs and then allocate them to the operating departments but at this stage at the allocation of the direct expense stage we are allocating those direct expenses that are applicable whether we're talking about the operating department or service departments here service departments of course only having expenses not having revenue then we're going to allocate the indirect expenses to the departments this is the bit more complex step of course where we're going to take the indirect expenses and allocate them this is where we use our allocation methods where we have to think about an activity base we have to find some way to allocate the indirect expenses between the operating departments operating departments uh, one and two and the allocation between the service departments so we're going to take those indirect expenses we're going to allocate them we might use different activity bases we could have a very complex system to use many different activity bases and different systems to put this allocation together or we might have a very simplified system where we use basically one activity base to allocate everything out it depends on the system that we are using but we, these are going to be costs that are benefiting multiple different departments we'll need some type of process to allocate them out to determine how to apply how much of them to apply to each department we'll apply those costs out to both the operating departments and the service departments the next step is to allocate the service department expenses to the operating departments so remember these service departments don't generate revenue which and of course the goal of the company is revenue generation that means that these are necessary departments but they're just managing the costs and ultimately we want to take the costs of those service departments and allocate them to the operating departments the, the revenue generation departments so once we've allocated all the proper costs to the service departments that are necessary we're going to take that total service department costs and we're going to allocate them to the operating department so service department one we're going to use some type of allocation method because they're benefiting most likely the service department is benefiting uh, the two operating departments so we'll have to use some type of activity base some type of method to take the total cost of the service department allocate it between the operating departments 
And we'll do the same for the service department too. We'll say, okay, we, these are benefiting both departments. How can we take some type of activity base, allocate this costs between the operating departments? Once we've completed those steps, then we'll take this information and prepare the departmental income statement.